Motherwell pipped Aberdeen to second spot with the final kick of the ball at Pataudry last season. Motherwell do have a decent record here, unbeaten in their last nine visits. And they could dearly do with three points this evening. This is Jack. McGinn, Goodwillie, it's nicely done. On to Johnny Hayes, and Johnny Hayes is breaking through the defence and goes all the way to open the scoring inside three minutes. Johnny Hayes with an individual goal. It was really nice build-up from Aberdeen. One-touch stuff between McGinn and Goodwillie, and Johnny Hayes took over and sauntered through the defence. McManus had the slightest slip and Hayes was there to take full advantage. Didn't he finish it well? And Hayes has his third goal of the season. Flood. Comes back from McGinn to Hayes. And Hayes is going through the defence once more and may go it alone. An inventive effort from the Irishman. He's causing problems early on, is Johnny Hayes. He couldn't get the ball off him once again, and the chip was just over the top. Now again, cut out by McManus. Craig Reid, that was charged down by Flood, and now Pollitt releases David Goodwillie. Goodwillie steadies himself, and then fired it. Hard and low, but easy enough for Dan Twardzik. Reid's clearance didn't do the job, and then Pollitt... Released Goodwillie. Law. Lofted in. Scott Brown comes out. Couldn't claim it. Reynolds. Half clear. And there's McManus. And it's just over the bar. It's the first real scare for Aberdeen. Scott Brown failed to take the corner. McManus on the half volley. Flood. It's just a little behind Johnny Hayes, but he has to retreat and collect. And now it looks to go around the outside of Fraser Kerr. Still Hayes. And still proving to be a danger, and he got that cross in really well. McGinn met it, but couldn't catch the ball full. Well, Johnny Hayes looks really up for this game tonight. Stuart McCall sees his side on a four-game losing streak. And Derek McInnes sees his team at sixth place in the table. I'd like to do better. Lost corner. And the header from Ramsden is off target. But for the second time, Motherwell causing problems from a set play. Russell Anderson will turn 36 tomorrow. He's nearing a return to first-team action. McGinn and Aberdeen are breaking with intent here. Goodwillie, he has options. He may look to go it alone. Well, he really had options in the middle, and Niall McGinn and Adam Rooney look particularly annoyed that David Goodwillie didn't try to find a teammate there. Jack. And that invites Johnny Hayes onto the left bank. A looping ball in. It's Shea Logan now. And deflected off Stephen Hamill. Well, Logan just took a little too long to hit the shot after Twardzik had punched it a clear. Hayes with the signal. It's right in on top of Twardzik, who got a fist to it. And then it seemed to come back off Rooney, who couldn't turn it goalwards. Ramsden to Kerr. Flood waited on that one, and there's Craig Reid. Saved by Brown. No, well, Reid is the man that scored that goal. The very final touch of last season to claim second spot for Motherwell. Ryan Jack. McGinn, Flood now, and Rooney, back to Niall McGinn. And he saw that empty bottom corner, but Aberdeen are back to winning ways with their 
first victory at Pitodri over Motherwell since November 2008.